continue our team coverage now with CBS4's Donna Rapato, who joins us live from Broward Health Medical Center, where some of those passengers are being treated tonight. Donna. That's right, Rick. All 21 of those passengers injured today were brought here to the hospital. Tonight, two of them are still here after doctors decided to admit them. Many of the 21 Dynamic Airways passengers taken to the hospital left Thursday night in wheelchairs, crutches, casts, and bandages. They boarded a bus down the street, staff from Broward Health Medical Center pulling them away as some tried to tell us how they were feeling and describe what happened as the plane caught fire at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. This injured man managed to tell us everyone on that Boeing 767 is reborn now. He says there was an explosion, then fire and smoke, and suddenly they had to jump out of the plane. A total 21 passengers were taken to the hospital. Doctors later released 19 and admitted two. Most of them are musculoskeletal, ankles, knees, elbows. Now we're starting to see some chest pain, some anxiety issues. And doctors would not say exactly what was wrong with the two people who were admitted, but one of them is in ICU. As for the buses, they transported the other 19 passengers back to the airport where they were expected to meet with airline representatives. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News, tonight.